Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and today, which I am doing just randomly, is a, or just a one off type of one. And this, which is on the Styracosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex of the Dinosaurs line from 2001, of course. <coughs> so, on the front of the this unique canister that there is, see a picture of the Styracosaurus that there is. Ages 5 through 12 has 19 pieces, and set number 6722 has choking hazard. Weird dinosaurs logo there, and also if you found it all new, you'd see the Lego logo there. And on that it would be there when it's etched into it, the, the lid, of course. On this one side of the canister, which says instructs include for four models and transforms in. Transforms and also these three others. Which pause the video if you want to give them a read. And back of which just some random child holding it in on a map on the map of some kind and barcode 2001 Lego group and the logos of course. And on the back of which it says collect all four. It shows all of these of course and also these canisters which. Which, not sure if you can notice on camera or barely show, see on camera, is that it's like fossils etched into it. Same with that, of course. And on the top of the part, which, which has a little bit more of that, and kind of rocky, of course, and also a few, or also a 2x5 studs on both sides for the feet on of the sides. And also, like most of which, earlier ones it's a twist off type of lid and you can see right in there too and also quite stackable like most of the others of course There's a, that is it with this canister and now on to the instruction leaflet or pamphlet Which, as you see, it's just simply how to build the middle part of it. And, that, and also, join the fun, lego.com, of course. There's, and also, the different kinds you can put together. And also, how to pronounce, or pronounce the name, of course. Now, on the back is just a little uh, play map of like, like various terrains and rivers, and if you get all four of these little sets, you can make a large scene out of that fit, of course. And also included is this little fold-out mini poster. Which on this one side is, of course, Life on Mars, which I previously just reviewed for Throwback Thursdays, or a few Throwback Thursdays. And then studios and racers with the the kind of love hate line of Exalix, of course. And on the back is the Bionicle Toamatas and Alpha Team in the Knights Kingdom first version, and also first Star Wars with the original William Falcon and some soccer or whatever, and uh, free uh, Lego.com catalogs or something. And yeah. Start things off is with the Styracosaurus, which we have seen on the caster, of course. Which, for this line of dinosaurs, which as the as the name implies, which is just dinosaurs, nothing else. And of course, these are which are quite different than the dinosaurs that we are used to of today, with like 2012 Dino and Jurassic World and whatnot. And well, as for the head part of which, but also a little different than the ones we had the uh, prior year in Adventurers. But except it's a few multiple pieces rather than a single piece. So, as you, as for this headpiece with some quite interesting printing onto it, and also a few uh, connections for the, uh, rods, lightsaber rods, which but you can put any of that of those if you want, and 
also get multiples of these, which are also used for the tip of the tail, of course. So, and of course, arrange however you want to the triceratops and whatnot. And also the face head part, which is kind of odd, kind of weird how that is, how it's like molded in and whatnot. It's kind of like the uh, uh, basilisk in the first chamber secrets and uh, kadus and whatnot of Star Wars and so on. And let's see, they're mostly just ratcheted joints. Kind of similar to the newer dinosaurs and what. If, so now let's see how this is done. Let's take out these jagged slopes. And see it's in two bits. And uh, kind of hard for that. And of course now three bits to make up the middle section. Attach to that and also to that. And get a ratcheted motion in there. And attach together. And of course, quite unique how that is, but and of course we also saw this with L with the elephants also in Adventures. And then in two thousand then again in two thousand five, but with the Boga in Star Wars for Star Wars Episode 3, of course. But also for the legs of which also some nice printing to them, and also with four reverse studs on each of them, and and also what you get is this smallish tail bit, of course. And whereas for this one in particular, you get uh, two extra pieces, like an extra tail piece and also a little uh, smallish headpiece, also which the Brachiosaurus and whatnot, to also common in this line, also have also the same thing there. And also a little connector point to put one of these pieces into it and make give it a crest, of course. We can, like, swap it with this and make another kind if you want, and yeah. That is it with this one. And now, on to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, of course. You, which has to see also in sand blue, of course, and also quite different than most other ones we've had over time. And also, well, in this time, they also had this in the studios line, but it was to coincide with Jurassic World, or Jurassic Park 3, of course. So I see the same pieces to that, but in Sam Blue and different prints to them. But also, you get two of these unique foot pieces that were also used on the Boga in Star Wars, of course. Also with four studs on them, which you can kind of use for hands of, of different mocks and whatnot. And whereas for these, but also a little different art. These little arm pieces there, which go on different sides, so which which do have a, a Technic pin connection. Although you can definitely use them as like fine detailing on your bonicle mocks and things. But as for the tail of which, quite long for it. And of course, these two pieces, which are still used to today, of course, but this lower part of which is kind of bulky and whatnot. Although I think the last time we've seen these was on Smaug and the Hobbit line, of course. And then as for the head part of which, which gets interesting, like the top part of which, which has the molded in type of eyes, is which we also previously saw in the other kind in the studios line previously, of course, and also adventurers as well. But also, the same kind of thing where also does that the crocodile headpiece in red used for a tail or a tongue, of course. You can clip that on and just a bit of a jagged thing just to it acting as teeth. Unlike with the newer ones that they've used since 2012, which, and of course, they was a lot better, of course. But unlike with the prior ones, it does have the motion. 
to in the course. Which, of course, was good. Also, with this, you do get a few other extra pieces. Like another tip of the tail piece and also the other herbivore headpiece, but in sand blue. And also another one of these pieces, also in sand blue. So you can make it as the Parks Aurolophus and whatnot. And also, so get a sail piece here and make it a Spinosaur, of course, which they did in the Studios line to coincide with Jurassic World 3, or Jurassic Park 3, sorry. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So overall, I think these are which, which were uh, okay, which are good sets for the time, but nowadays just kind of lacking in so much and whatnot. But otherwise, is the tail bits, which are still used today on various things. But some of these pieces, I think you can try and make, which I think you can work in mocks if you want. But yeah. Although they do provide some good colorings of both sand green and sand blue, of course. And although they kind of aren't as much worthy or great as the recent dinosaur sets of Jurassic World and whatnot. But at least these are kind of a sign of the times. But although, but also I can kind of forgive how these came around, came out and whatnot. Yeah. Although, I think it would be nice if something like this happened again but but mostly brick built instead of being like a whole bunch of pieces of course There's like which would be great for draft world and whatnot world of course and yeah and if you still ha have these sets from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of them and for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets i'd say Definitely pick them up. Definitely get the eBay Brooklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.